Hello everyone, it's Pastor Dave. It's January 13th, Friday, 2012, and I have a story for you. I will put the link to this article in the description box. It comes from Yahoo News. Judge orders removal of school prayer mural. My, my, my. A federal judge has ordered the immediate removal of a Christian prayer mural displayed in the auditorium of a Rhode Island high school saying it violated a U.S. constitutional ban on state-sponsored prayer in public schools. U.S. District Judge Ronald, uh, I can't pronounce the last name, L-A-G-U-E-U-X, Lognex, rejected the school's claims that the message in the mural, which opens with our Heavenly Father and closes with Amen, was purely secular. No amount of debate can make the school prayer anything other than a prayer and a Christian one at that. Log next vote in a 40-page opinion. Now, are you ready for this? Jessica Alquist, a student at Cranston High School West, sued the city of Cranston and its school committee in April 2011 to remove the banner which dates back to 1963. As an atheist, Elkway said, the mural made her feel excluded and ostracized. Oh, poor thing. She accused the school of violating the Establishment Clause of the Constitution's First Amendment, which prevents the government from promoting one religion over another. School officials responded that the banner was a historical memento of the school's founding days and did not serve any religious purpose. The prayer encourages values of honesty, kindness, friendship, and sportsmanship. And we, you know, we can't have that in our public schools. Our young people today cannot be encouraged in such things as values, values of honesty, kindness, love towards one another, friendship, and sportsmanship. We just can't have that in our public schools. Joseph Cavanaugh, a lawyer for the city and school officials said, they were analyzing the opinion to determine whether to file an appeal. We were hoping this banner would be viewed as a neutral, secular, historic display, Kavanaugh said. The mural donated by the class of 1963 had evolved historically in the community and never had a religious purpose, he said. The court relied on a 2005 case in which the U.S. Supreme Court called for particular care in separating church and state and public schools. In that case, the High Court ruled that a monument displaying the Ten Commandments was acceptable on the grounds of the Texas State Capitol. But the court added that the same monument on the grounds of a public school would be impermissible given the impressionability of the young. Yeah, I mean, we don't want them to know about um, thou shalt not kill. and. Uh, honor thy mother and father. <laughs> we can't have that. Lynette uh, Labinger, a volunteer lawyer with the American Civil Liberties Union who represented Elquist, praised the judge for recognizing that Supreme Court president. Placement of a public government display of a religious message in a place with impressionable young students has not been upheld, she said. I'm going to put the link to this Disturbing news article below. Judge orders removal of school prayer mural, and I believe it comes from yahoo.com, Yahoo News, rather. Okay, friends, there you have it. Leave me, leave me some comments on this. I want your honest opinion on uh, on this. God bless everyone. I'll be back in a few.